The other thing is Al Amar bil Ma'roof wa Nahi anil Munkar. This is what we call Al Amar bil Ma'roof wa Nahi anil Munkar. In the sixth point, when you go out, you're going towards the masjid. You see my brother's in the park. He's chilling. Come on, brother, let's go to the masjid. They say Amar bil Ma'roof wa Nahi anil Munkar. In this way, the religion is protected in its true form. By telling people, brother, this is a good deed. Stay away from this. This is evil. Without this, there is a lot of chaos. In the late 15th century, there was an individual on the name of unity, on the name of love. He came out and he said, this is a Christian, but he's got the same body. This is a Jew, same body. This is a Hindu, same body. This is a Muslim, same body. When they all bleed, same blood. Therefore, we are all one. And he used to go around in the streets of India and he would say, Na Hindu, na Musliman. That there is no Hindu, there is no Muslim. There's only one insan. La Hindu, wa la Muslim. Faqat al insan. Hada madhabuna. And that individual, all of this, tahta ismin ittihad. All of this happened under the name of ittihad. Under the name of unity. Under the name of getting together. And do you know what happened? A new religion was formed which is now known as Sikhism. And that individual was known as Guru Nanak. That's a completely different scenario. What he became after, what he did and all that stuff. Completely different thing. But under the name of unity, try to get two religions together. A new religion was formed. Then there was a king in India. United India at that time. By the name of Akbar Badshah. He was known as King Akbar. He had this love. And he thought, you know what? Let's get everyone together. Just get good from all religions. Respected brothers, he had scholars with him that were yes men. Yes, sir. I am saying this because when Al Amr bil Ma'roof wa Nahyu anil Munkar, when you stop calling people towards good, and when you try, when you stop stopping people from doing evil, doing bad, doing something that is incorrect, then what happens? What he ended up doing is he came out with a new religion by the name of Deen Ilahi. Deen Ilahi. He came out with a new religion. Now recently in Abu Dhabi, they've got three new buildings together. They call it the Abrahamic Family House. Baytul Aaliyyat al Ibrahimiyya. This is what it is called. And over there, what they want is Millat Ibrahim, those that follow Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. As that Ibrahim was given a virtue that he is an Imam for all those religions. So Jewish will claim Ibrahim is one of ours. Christians will claim that Sayyidina Ibrahim is one of ours. The Muslims will claim Sayyidina Ibrahim is ours. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told the Muslim, Millat Abikum Ibrahim, that you guys are on the path of Sayyidina Ibrahim. So what these people want to do now is get those that are common grounds between all these three religions so a new institute is born now and it is still working on it it will probably be open by 2022 they started work on it in 2019 in Abu Dhabi now what will happen over here if we do not protect our tradition our Sunnah our Quran a new religion will be born. And they will call it the Abrahamiyah. Abu Dhabi may be a bit teen. Yehudiyo ka, Isaiyo ka, Musalmano ke teen imarat ek saad bana di gai. Or ye kaha ja raha hai ke jo teeno mazahib mein jo mushtarakad hai, un saro ko ek kiya jai ga. Isme ittihad ho ga. It will also be under the name of unity. Or isme kya ho ga? Ek naya mazhab janam lai. Jisme... Islam bhi ho, Yehudiyat bhi ho, Isaiyat bhi ho. Yeh nuksan kis cheez ka hai? Tabliq ka na honne ka. 
When you don't do al amr bil ma'ruf, wal nahi an al munkar. Our respective brothers living in the UK, living in the United Kingdom, the Muslims just to blend in. Yes, we should socialize. We have to socialize in this country. We have to get along with each other. But that does not mean you stop standing up for what you are. You let go of what you stand for. Don't not let go of what you stand for. In this country, we have Muslims during Christmas seasons. They've got Christmas trees in their homes. They will get their children gifts for the birthday. They will get the child a gift for Christmas, but nothing for Eidain. This happens when you think less of yourself. Eid is a day where we should be happy. Eid day is when we get our children the goods and the prices and the gifts. We should tell our children, okay, you, you do good, inshallah for Eid you will get this present. But what have we done for Eid? We do nothing but work, 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 earn money, earn money, earn money. And right now, we've got Muslims in the UK with Christmas trees in their house, in their homes, and they are not even telling their children what is the need of this. When we do not educate our children regarding Islam, when we do not send them to the makatibs that we have here, we do not send them for Islamic education, and we follow other tradition, traditions, and we bring them into our homes, and we do not inform them, then it becomes a problem. Because when you do not give education to your child, then he, when he gets his children, ch children, he will not inform them. Why? Because he will not have knowledge himself. He or she will not have knowledge themselves. And then what will happen? It's two generations down, three generations down. It will be your blood. It will be my blood. But they will not be Muslims. They will no longer remain Muslims. And we are sleeping. We are careless. We have no clue what we are doing. So respect to brothers, it is about we stand up for what you are. It's about time. Stand up for what you are. You are a Muslim. What is a Muslim? A person who submits him, herself to the order and commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My heart says I want to do this. My wish is to do this. My desire is to do this. But everything is submitted and sacrificed to the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To the teachings of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we learn them through the lifestyle of Sahaba Ridwanullah Ta'ala alayhim ajma'in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to act up and understand whatever has been read, heard, said. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the true understanding of Islam. And brothers, if you can slightly move forward, and those that are exempted 